There's a Miss America and a Miss Universe, and now there's a Miss Sarajevo under siege. Details on a beauty contest in a war zone coming up on World News. Is ugly, its victims are not. And to demonstrate the point, a beauty contest was held in the Bosnian capital today. Here's CNN's Brent Sadler with a look at the Miss Sarajevo under siege pageant. It was a day of beauty shining through the horror of war. A contest to find a girl who would win the title of Miss Sarajevo under siege. Some light relief in a city heavy with sorrow. It was time to smile, to walk their best, impress the judges with glamour and poise, and enjoy life such as it is. A life of uncertainty and fear, with little hope of it ending soon. You couldn't hear the falling shells outside, but Sarajevo's SOS was clear for all to see. This is what happened on the day they tried to name the Siege Queen a week earlier. Shells rained down, bringing more death and destruction. Since then, the city has been hit by sporadic artillery fire, striking daily at anybody, at any time, anywhere. But the reality of Sarajevo today was marked by a little glitter and gloss. They sang for Sarajevo, a song of no surrender. I think this is refreshing for all of us after a year of horror and hell. This is a kind of defiance to our enemies. Several hundred joyous people braved the shelling to watch. One of Sarajevo's defending generals joined the judges, whose scoring narrowed it down to three finalists. There were no prizes, no crown. First, second and third were announced in reverse order, as is customary. The runners-up hid their disappointment well. And when the winner was announced, she looked dumbfounded at her new title, just like winners anywhere else. <laughs> 17-year-old Inela Nogic said it was unbelievable, a happy dream. But when Inela and her friends went home, their pleasant dream turned into a continuing nightmare. Brent Sadler, CNN, Sarajevo. That's it for World News. I'm Jean Meserve in Washington. And I'm Joe Oliver in Atlanta. Thanks for joining us.